How's it going? My name is Steven Gomez. I'm a photographer based in New York City. I do mostly portraits and headshots. Today is the first video that I'm creating in a series of videos that's going to be about uh, gear that you can use on location uh, to achieve these looks. Um, a lot of the photos that I do and a lot of portraits that I take are on location at offices or people's homes or in the park and you can't always carry a lot of stuff with you. Now, a lot of times people will use a reflector or just straight up natural light. And while that's fine, I find that augmenting your setup with artificial light will usually bring a little bit more dynamic uh, look to your, your, photo, your photography. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video about one of the, my main pieces of gear and most of these videos that I'm going to be producing are going to be pretty short. Um, nothing too amazing, nothing too um, spectacular I guess. Uh, just straight up, you know, what I use, how I use it, do I like it, do I not, and hopefully you find it interesting. Um, so the first piece of gear that I want to talk about today is actually a speed light. Uh, this is the Godox V850. Uh, it's part of the, their lithium ion line. Uh, this is the manual only version. Uh, there is the V860, which is their TTL version. Uh, I'm a really big fan of these lights, uh, and I own like four of them. They are really easy to take around. They put out an amazing amount of light, especially if you're using any modern camera that has really high ISO sensitivity. It's not going to be an issue. They're not really, they're not anywhere near as strong as a full on strobe, like a Profoto B1 or an Ellen Chrome system, um, or even the higher end Godox strobes that, that Godox makes. But they're a great option if you want to look at small portable lights that will uh, let you travel and do on-site portraiture. Um, I typically use this modifier, this, this, this light in a modifier, um, so whether that be an umbrella or uh, the Westcott Rapid Box, the 26 inch, uh, is my personal favorite. Um, at the end of the video, I'll link in some, some foot, uh, photos that I've taken with this, uh, with this speed light, so you can kind of see what it can do. Um, these, these lights are cool for a few reasons. One, the, for me, the main reason is that they are portable uh, and that they have lithium ion batteries. So you never have to deal with double A's. And that's a big deal, for me at least. I never have to, I, I hate double A's. So if I open this up right here, you'll see you have a lithium ion brick. And this is your power source for the speed light. You're getting somewhere conservatively around 300 ish full power flashes. If you're shooting at less than full power, you're getting a lot. I believe the last time I shot a wedding with one of these on camera at less than full power, I was able to get somewhere in the vicinity of around 2,000 shots and I was shooting at less than half power. So I, I believe it's probably one thirty second power. Uh, and it was great, very consistent, never misfired, uh, really good job. And these are really affordable. You can pick these up at uh, B&H Photo, uh, Adorama also sells them under their Flashpoint line. I believe they're the R2 series of speed lights. They're great. I really recommend them. Uh, just a few more things on the light themselves. They uh, are, they all have receivers built in. So you can pick up the Godox uh, X1T or the X-Pro-C or X-Pro-N or S for whichever system that you, use. you shoot with. Canon, Icon, Sony, Fuji, Panasonic, Olympus. Um, and you can use these off camera, real simple. Uh, they also have transmitters inside of them. So they're sort of transceivers. So if you're using multiple speed lights uh, off camera, then you can have one speed light on camera and have it be the master and control the other ones that are off camera. Really good if you're doing events or weddings. Uh, also really good if you're just doing quick portraiture and you need, you know, you left the remote at home or, you know, whatever your situation is. Um, these modify really well. They have a typical, um, you know, typical shape and size of any standard speed light. Uh, they'll go into the rapid box. They'll you. They can go into an S bracket, uh, Bowen's S bracket, so you can use bigger soft boxes if you want. I typically wouldn't use anything bigger than uh, probably like a 32 inch soft box. They were great in umbrellas, uh, and yeah, I mean they're just a great all around speed light. I have, I've like I said, I have about four or five of these, uh, and I also use uh, Godox's other strobes, the 600, the 8600 Pro, and the 8200, and they all work great together. I've, I've shot many headshots uh, with these, you know, having these be main lights, having them be on the background, giving me that pure white look, whatever, whatever have you. Uh, these will get the job done. I stand by them quite well. 
Uh, this one in my hand is the 850. It is the manual only version. I don't really use TTL that often. I do have one of the TTL versions. It's fine. Um, but I usually go with the, the manual version to save a little bit of cash and because, well, like I said, I don't really use TTL that often. But if you use TTL, they have one and it's a couple bucks more. And they make uh, TTL versions for all the major brands. Uh, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Panasonic, Olympus. The only ones that they don't do TTL with are Leica and Pentax and Hasselblad. But chances are if you're shooting with a Hasselblad or a Leica, you're not using TTL either. So it's what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, uh, comment below. If you want to keep up with what I'm doing, feel free, to, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll have links to my Instagram and my other social media in the description below. Thanks for watching.